Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. We are going to see how to bind grid view with the data list and execute a submission. The files that we are going to use are located at WS5, Web Content, Training, and Type 2. Use Training to UI XML and Training to Info Search Text Files. What we want to do is to display certain data on the grid view by binding with data list, creating a submission, and executing the submission. Open the studio and go to WS5, Web Content, Training, Type 2, Training to UI XML, File. and training to info search text file. This text file contains information about submission. Data map for submission. And the data list for the grid view. You can refer to this file when creating data map, data list, and a submission for this exercise. Check the XML file on the browser. Gender and position selection boxes are from the previous exercise too. The first step to displaying data on the grid view is to create a data map and a data list. In the text file, you can see information about the data map to create. Go to Outline and Head tab. Right-click Data Collection and select Data Map. Change the Data Map ID into DC Search Param. As specified in the text file, copy the key info of the data map and paste on the data collection editor. In the lower part of the text file is the information about the data list to create. Right-click Data Collection and select Data List. Change the ID of the data list as defined in the text file. Copy the column info and paste it on the data collection editor. Apply and close. Go to the Outline Head tab and check the data map and the data list we have just created. The second step is to create a submission that will submit data to the created data list. Go to the Outline Head tab. Right-click Submission and select Add. Reference is for the data to send to the server. Select DC Search Param, the data map that we previously created. Target is for the data to receive from the server. Select DC User Info List, the data list we have also just created. The URL action is specified in the text file. Copy and Paste. Enter the message to display during the submission. In this example, user info list being submitted. If you go back to the text file, you can see that DC Search Param data map has gender code all and position code all. Click Submission Test to check the submission using these key values. Set both the gender code and position code as all and click Send. We can see that the data is successfully submitted from the server. Click OK. Now, let us add a submit event. The script is automatically created. The submit event is triggered right before the submission starts. We want to set the data map data that is to be sent to the server. As defined in the text file, Set the gender code as all, and the position code as all. Save. On the Outline and Head tab, you can check the submissions that we have created. The next step is to add an on-click event to the Search button. Right-click the Search button and select Event, and on-click. Upon the search button being clicked, we want to execute the submission we have just created. Go to the Outline Head tab. Select the submission to execute and press F2. 
Copy the submission ID and paste the copied ID to the code. Save and reload the browser. Nothing is displayed on the grid view yet. Click search in order to execute the submission. Open the debugging menus and select view data collection. You can see that the data list data has been successfully submitted. Although no data is displayed on the grid view. So, what we are going to do is to bind the grid view with the data list. Select grid view on the design tab and click property view. Select data list property and choose the data list ID that you want to bind with the grid view. In this case, DC user info list. Now, click the grid view column and go to the property view. The ID property shows the list of the columns that DC user info list has. In this case, let us select zip code. Save and reload the browser. Click the search button. You can see the data of the zip code column is displayed on the grid view. By double clicking the header of the grid view, you can define the label. Save and reload the browser. The define label is displayed on the header. Click search to display the data. We can also edit the grid view table. Use the buttons on the upper part. For example, add a column to the right. Or you can also use context menus. Insert left column. Or add a row below or add a row above. Delete a row. Merge columns. Double click and define the label. In this example, user info. Click OK. For the added columns in the grid view, you can set the data list column ID to bind with. For example, gender code. Double click the header and define the label as gender. Click OK. For the other column, select the email column of the data list. Double click the header and define the label as email. Save and reload the browser. The grid view columns are displayed as we have just edited. Click search to submit data. Open the debugging menus and select view data collection. You can see the DC user info list has more columns than the zip code, gender, or email. Now what we want to do is to display the data of all these columns on the grid view. Go to outline head tab and drag the data list to the grid view. In this way, you can bind the entire data list with the grid view, or use the context menu. In this case, we select unbound data collection, because the grid view is already bound. Let us drag the data list that is DC user info list to the grid view. Select new option and click OK. New binding is reflected on the design view. Save and reload the browser. Now, the grid view has all columns. Click search. The data is successfully submitted and displayed on the grid view. Thank you for watching.